So, we're going in for round number three on day two here. I won my first two rounds, feeling pretty good, but it's still pretty tight, like, you know, I, it's very easy to lose two matches anyway, and I kind of like, you know, I'm close now, so I really want that invite. Um, my teammates, Stefan and uh, Mati, have both picked up a very early loss. Uh, they both lost to uh, Red Black, and they're reporting that, like, they basically only face, like, Rakdos mid-range here. So, you know, I've only, like, I faced Blue-White Control and Phoenix so far, so might be time for some uh, Red Black here. At least I don't see a Lurus, so it's not Affinity, or at least not the Thopter deck. Uh, I am on the play here, and my hand is, like, incredible, right? And by incredible, I mean I'm, I have Trap Finder and just Deadly Dispute, like, Yo, when you have those two cards in your hand, your hand is incredible. So uh, I'm gonna just lead off here with a uh, trap finder, and is it not a blue white control here? Really? Oh, okay, multi-layer prototype. So this is the affinity deck, like the actual affinity deck that plays actual affinity cards, and the um, nettle cyst and you know, the Karn, to make and like Psy and like all all that jank. All right, but. Um, no Thopter uh, generating uh, machine here, so um, we draw Bergy. That's kind of perfect, right? Like this might even be a turn three kill here if we get lucky. So question is, am I uh, going to dispute right now? Um, I end up deciding no. Like the thing is, like to play around Metallic Rebuke. Oh, I actually end up doing it right now. Okay, never mind. I don't play around Metallic Rebuke. And do we hit? We don't hit. We do get a Trap Finder. Okay, that's kind of neat. We have a treasure there, so next time we can actually play Trap Finder and sacrifice it to tower, and then like still play Bergy and go off actually. Uh, what are they doing on their turn? They're playing um, an Ingenious Smith, okay, and the Retrofitter Foundry, that was the name. I've been like trying to remember that name for a few matches now. Uh, okay. Get the count on the thing, sure, whatever. We're just trying, we're just hoping here. So I play my... Uh, Oh, I think I was like, decide, yeah, because I could just call against command here, right? Kill Foundry and kill the Ingenious Smith. But I think I realized that, like, it's probably just worth more to just try and go for the kill right here. They're tapped out. I mean, might as well just, like, try. So I sacrifice this. Do I hit the Traveler? I don't. I hit another Bergy. So we don't have the kill just yet. But I can just, like, with my mana floating here, I'm just going to, like, kill the. Uh, Oh, I see what I'm doing here. Yeah, so what I recognize here is that um, my Colangus command is worth, like, it's just better for me to regrow a uh, Trap Finder than it is to kill, like, get value out of killing something, right? Especially when I have Fatal Push in hand. So that's what I'm doing here, right? I have, like, the Mana Floating from Friction Tower um, and with the Treasure Token over here, I, I'm just gonna, like, kill the Retrofit of Foundry, get back my Goblin, and... Uh, yeah, now we are, you know, we can try to go again, go for lethal again next turn. They tap out from Nettle Cyst here. Happy to see them tap out for anything. Here's Shadow Spear. Okay, this time, can we hit? I decided to like start off with Bergy because I have a backup Bergy anyway, and it just makes the combo so much more likely to happen. Play the Trap Finder, sacrifice it. Let's roll the dice. Yeah, there it is. And we combo off, blah, 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 and kill them. Did. All right, that was a super nice, very clean turn four kill. Um, opponent tapped out and they died. You know, that's it's really lovely to play like a grindy, like interactive deck like this that can also just like end the game on turn four. It's not happen that often, but you can. Um, all right, so going into game two versus Affinity, how am I sideboarding? Well, pretty much the same as versus the Thopter deck. Um, the only difference is that I'm like valuing my removal a little less. They uh, probably don't have Harshbringer because they have um, the uh, the Thopter. Or it's not a Thopter actually, but uh, you know, the Affinity card that draws two cards when it ends the battlefield. Don't really want to stop that. So, like, in general, removal spells are just a little bit less important here, but actual artifact destruction is really important. So, like, obviously, my Call Against Command and my Biforce comes in. Um, and discard spells are a lot better against this version. They have interaction, like Metallic Rebuke, and just like discarding a little cyst and so on can like be huge for me in this matchup. Thought Seize gets a lot, lot better. They're not really pressuring my life total in the same way that like the Thought the Deck is, which is very aggressive. Um, and the ability to take away their like Karn or, um, or their card draw engine or whatever, it, it's like, that's just really important. Right, so um, game two here. 
We have a hand. It's kind of interesting. I mean, it has some interaction. It doesn't have artifact hate, but has some deadly disputes, has a friction tower. I think I'm keeping this hand. It's kind of loose, though. I wouldn't be surprised if I end up mulliganing this. Um, but I do actually keep it. But my opponent mulligans the six, starts off with an Esper Sentinel. Okay. Well, that's something I can answer with Fatal Push, and I am going to do that. But I'm going to make like a little bit of an interesting play here. I draw a deadly dispute. It's not the greatest draw. Um... And I actually played Fresh and Tower Gen 1. The reason for this is that I don't want to just push my opponent's Sentinel right away. I would rather wait and just pay to not give them the card. Um, but right now, I don't yet have enough... Like, what if there's a Swamp on top of my deck? And I just put the Blast the Pathway on Black. That's, like, not a great play, right? So, I'm just going to wait and see if I get, like... Draw a land of a specific color that would inform me which way to put my pathway. And since I'm planning to just use the colorless of Friction Tower next turn to pay for Fatal Push, or to pay for the Esper Sentinel, I guess. Um, playing out Tower turn one team is totally fine to me. So they play Moonsnap Prototype and nothing else. Okay, that's pretty weak. Draw Blood Crypts. All our woes are solved. Let's just kill that thing and pay. So they don't hit a land here and they just pass. If I slam Bergy here, they're probably gonna Metallic Rebuke it. Uh, but I don't really care because I have Prosper in hand, so I think I just want to like get it out of the hand. Plus, they might not even have it. Uh, they do have it, and hit the third land here. Now they play the Nettle Cyst. Okay, that's fine. Did we hit a? Yeah, we do hit a land here. So I can play my Prosper now. Uh, they actually even blocked the Nettle Cyst potentially, or the Germ Token. Uh, let's see what I hit off the top here. Okay, so I hit by force. So next turn I have by force available. That's huge. That also means that like. Opponent just like, even if they have artifacts here, they can't really cast them right now. That's like, you know, just can't run into the... Uh, can't run into the, the Biforce. So, I'm just gonna kill their Nettle Cyst, and I think also their Moon Snap Prototype. I was briefly considering if there was like a way that I could like, play around Metallic Rebuke. And there kind of is, because like, I could leave a Friction Tower and sacrifice my Prosper, but... I conclude that like Prosper is just better than Nettle Cyst at this point. So if they have another Metallic Rebuke, then so be it. And uh, it turns out that uh, the opponent has a Veto. So um, yeah, sure. That does the same thing, I guess. Um, but they only have one card left in hand. The draw is like super weak right here. So we just like flip another card. There's another land, but kind of funny that like, you know, we put our, our pathway on black and like since then we've actually drawn a Swamp and a Takanuma. So uh, we're like, you know, plenty of black sources right now. Anyway, they uh, play a portable hole, which just exiles my treasure token, which is like whatever, but actually kind of annoying because I have all of these like deadly disputes here that I would actually like to like sacrifice the treasure. But it actually doesn't matter because I have um, like Prosper is just gonna trigger when I play my land. So I play my land, get my treasure, and I'm just gonna start like casting these deadly disputes. Draw a few cards. I even like do call against command for turn, so that's amazing. Um, and. So I'm gonna start out by playing out the trap finder here and just gonna pass the turn here planning to like sacrifice that to deadly dispute I'm just on no pressure this little sister is like so tiny They play an ingenious smith they hit a thought uh, retrofit of foundry but like there's no thought there is in place so, like that doesn't really do much I don't really care I mean you know sure this is like you know some damage but since they're attacking I mean I can just like block and sacrifice I mean I'm not even taking damage here let's see what I hit I hit the Traveler, so everything's scoring according to plan. I just need to find a Bergy now. Um, and we have like so many things going on here. So I play my tap line for turn, the, the hive of the uh, exile. And yeah, I have a lot of treasures to sacrifice, but I am just gonna start by um, making them discard their last card. Wait, do I have a Bergy? Oh, I have a Bergy in the graveyard, right. Right, 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 right. That's really important here. I have Bergy in the graveyard, so I'm just gonna make them discard their last card and get back my Bergy. Um, again, like, you know, the beautiful thing of, like, all these recursion effects in this deck is, uh... Is, like, how stuff like this happens, right? Where, um, they can actually act as, like, extra combo pieces. And I definitely have enough mana here, with all the treasures here. So, I discard the last card just to make sure that, like, nothing weird is going on. Get back Bergy. The last card was, like, something irrelevant, like a, a land, yeah. And, uh, I can play the Bergy, play the the thing and yeah now we just blah 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 and uh end up killing the opponent so yeah i mean the opponent's door was like not very good there we definitely also saw the power of prosper just the power of like the card draw on this deck i mean my hand wasn't very good but you know this affinity deck it doesn't always like put that much pressure on you so 
we were actually fine to just sit around in there for a while. And then like once, you know, like our daily spirits were activated and we had to prosper and play, like all of a sudden, like the, the card flow started running like, real fast and we like, very quickly assembled the combo. Obviously a bit lucky that I hit the ominous travel off the first go, but yeah, I mean, you do that like a, more than a third of the time, right? I and mean, it's, you know, it's, it's definitely like a, a very reasonable thing to have happened. So um, anyway, we like, now I've tried playing against that Affinity deck and uh, moving on to 3-0, playing against like three very different and non-red-black mid-range decks. All right, see you for round four. That will be the last one that we're playing on 17 lands here. <laughs> 